Hi, writing students. This video goes over one revision process um, for writing a multi-source paper. So these papers, it could be a research paper or perhaps your teacher has already provided you with sources and it's your job to group them together and um, prove a thesis. So um, this revis the revision process is step four of having an overall writing process. So if you were engaged in a pre-writing process where you were considering your rhetorical situation and brainstorming and thinking about your audience, that would be step one. Step two of a writing process would be outlining. So thinking about the structure of your paper um, before you start writing. And then step three of having an overall writing process would be writing a rough draft. Now, so I want to stipulate too that this is just one revision process. Different people might have different ways that they create a piece of writing. I don't always um, stick to this in my own writing. Um, but having some steps to follow can be really helpful as you figure out how you write best. So you can try this writing process and then improve on it for your own um, skills and abilities. So number three is writing a rough draft. Um, and so if you're at the revision process, you've already completed step three. So congratulations, yay, you've done the first three steps. Uh, step four would be revising. And that's what this video is going to go over. And then also proofreading and editing. So between writing a rough draft and revising, it's a good idea to take a little bit of a break. And so that's why it can be um, helpful to set aside a lot of time when you're writing a paper, um, you know, at least a week or two to give yourself time to write, rejuvenate, and return to your paper. So I would say here, between writing a rough draft and revising, you might want to take one to two days. That way you can um, go back to your paper with new eyes. Um, and so then take that, so take a couple days, one or two days, and then you can start your revision process. Um, so your, revi your revision process um, can also take a couple, a few steps, at least maybe five or so. Um, so what you want to do is you want to start off by rereading that paper. And then analyze its different parts. So look and see how the parts of the paper are functioning um, together to create that larger whole of your essay. So the different parts of your paper would include things like your intro, uh, your thesis, your body paragraphs, and then your conclusion, and also a references page or works cited page two. So you definitely want to leave time for this. If you don't, you will think you're done and then um, start, you know, get ready to print it up and realize, oh no, I have like an hour more worth of work to create the references page. Okay, so reread the paper, analyze the parts, and then um, begin tightening up that paper. So things that you can do to revise your paper would be you could tighten your intro, cut out unnecessary words, and hook your reader. So really think about how you can draw in your reader with interesting facts, um, some image-filled language, things like that to draw in your reader. Um, another step of revising your paper would be to uh, revise the thesis. So ways in which a thesis can go astray into being not the best thesis land would be things like, um, say your thesis makes too broad a claim. If it's too broad of a claim, if you would need a book 
or an encyclopedia collection in order to prove that thesis, then you need to revise it. Examples of broad thesis statements would be like, racism has always existed. Like that would take an entire encyclopedia collection to prove and it would take lots and lots and lots of research um, to really prove in an academic paper with evidence. So another way that your thesis statement can go wrong would be um, maybe your language is too abstract or vague and we can't visualize what you're saying in the thesis. And so try to work toward creating concrete language, things that we can picture, um, claims that you can support with facts and evidence in that thesis statement. Another way that you could work on that thesis statement to make it better would be to take out wordiness. And then lastly, another way that you can um, revise that thesis would be to think about um, how can you make your thesis state a claim that your whole entire paper is proving. So for this one, for letter D, sometimes what people do is they group together all their supporting points. So they string together all the supporting points into one really super long sentence um, and that's not really like a thesis so you want your thesis to be a claim and then these guys these one guys these are super important but they work in support of your thesis statement so they're kind of like they, they help to structure the paper but they're not going to hold the whole thing up your thesis is going to do that um, and then you can go through if you are revising your paper and you've revised your thesis statement, then what you wanna do is go through, once you do this, go through your body paragraphs and make sure that they're all working in support of that new thesis. So what you might have to do is work on your topic sentences, make sure that the claims, the main ideas of each paragraph are working in support of this new umbrella. Isn't that cute? that's working in support. This just kind of looks like a bat. Doo -doo -doo. Um, so that's your thesis. Revise your body paragraph so they work in support of that. Um, and then also conclude. So go, you've already written your conclusion, but if you've revised your thesis, you want to go through that conclusion and think about are the ideas in this conclusion explaining how I have proven my new thesis? So you don't want to, don't just restate the thesis. So don't re restate the thesis only. Well, that's not how you spell only. Um, talk about how you've proven your thesis. How you, pr how you prove the umbrella. And then take another break. So this is a revision process, right? So this is all step four. Woo, it's a, it's a big step. You wanna set aside like a, I don't know, it depends on how, t how fast you type, um, how fast you think, how long you wanna spend pondering. So you definitely also wanna leave some time to ponder. And that takes time. Um, and once you've done this, take another break. And then return to proofread and edit at another time, at another time that you sit down and you work on the paper. Um, and so then you'll want to, and when you're at the proofreading and editing stage, you're not adding ideas. Don't add new ideas at this stage. Just go through and tighten up the paper, get rid of unnecessary words, um, work on your citation, things like that in this stage. Check for grammar, do a spell check, even have someone else read it. And then you're ready, you're done. Um, so do that and then save that paper and, and turn it in.
when you're done with your multi-source paper. Look at that, I forgot the eye. All right, well, let me know if you have any questions and happy revising.